Hey everybody, AmpReparGuy.com 203-892-4119 We have a Kenwood TL922 here. So, guy sent it in. Needed tubes. Um, burnt up one of the chokes between the grid and ground. Uh, air variables look good. Um, everything else looks good. Rotary switch looks good. So, um, called someone else, said that it's like a major project to change the standby light. That's not true. Said you have to take the panel off, which is easy. Just loosen up these four nuts. Take two screw. Well, take the knobs off. It's two screws. Two screws. Pops right out. But anyway, you don't have to do that to get at it. You take the uh, rubber boot out. Right here. Go sideways with it. Um, disconnect the wires. They stripped right here. Two of the strips are connected to the two strips. Dropping resistor, series dropping resistor, and you. Um, I usually like to slice the boot sideways, and I just pop the bulb out, I enlarge a hole a little bit, and put a new bulb in, and it's good to go. So I do it. I did all the mods I usually do. Um, put a strap across the wire here. Glitch resistor. Diode to protect the plate current meter between the B negative and ground. Let me put the camera down for a second. And back. As you can see, it's on a rubber mat. Okay, so. Change electrolytic for the rectified 90 volt winding. So the bias modification back here. Grounded the grids with copper strap. I don't know why some people go to the screws with wire. That's really not a good idea. Um, I see some people doing that. Anyway, like I said, clean the rotary switches, use deoxic gold. You wanted the soft key kit. From Harbach, great kit. Just keep in mind, you need a piece of material like a per, a perf board or something else. Um, you drill it out, 516 uh, hole here. You mount it to the. Uh, you put a couple washers and you mount it to the stud, and you know put the nut on after you mounted the, the uh, board to the um, to the perf board. So you assembled. I assembled that. Cut that to size, inch and a half wide by three inches. Um, it's nice and snug. Um, I uh, almost was able to run the wire without undoing the zip ties, but um, I had to pull the relay wire out uh, from. Uh, I had to pull it this way, otherwise I would have had to have extended it. Um, the relay jack wire, so pulled it this way, connected to the board, zip tied it, and the new wiring. A little zip tied, and actually, I have to add a zip two zip ties here. Um, don't really have to, but I like uh, things being nice and neat. So, uh, I always check the nut here for the line cord where it comes in, and uh, like I've said before, I check the SO239 connectors to make sure they're nice and tight on the PL59 because you do not want it open on the output. Really bad. The RF voltage can skyrocket. Flash fan switch, flash tubes. That stuff happens. I also put the strap in to um, shorten the path between the plate tune cap and the tube grids. That's a big source of parasitic issues. So, so she's good to go. Once again, AmpRepairGuy.com. I think this uh, this is like 400 something. Um, I'll have to go back. I'm going to take forever to look at all my receipts, but I've done over 400 something of these. It's a lot of them. Great amp. I love this amp, but 
Okay, guys, have a great night, and uh, feel free to contact me if you need some work done. Take care.